What will win in a drag race between an Alpina B3 Touring, a BMW M3 Touring, a BMW M340i Touring, and a BMW M340d Touring? Well, we're going to find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this Alpina. It uses the S58 3 litre straight six twin turbo from that BMW M3 Touring. However, it's been tuned slightly differently. It puts out 495 horsepower and 730 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels for an eight speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter. The actual drive system doesn't do any of the clever like rear wheel drive, X drive, M drive, Blah, blah 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 stuff that the M car does. It just goes all out for traction and power. Now this thing isn't the lightest car in the world. It weighs in at 1,955 kilos. Plus it's rather expensive. Starting price of this, 80,000 pounds. Though this one with all the options fitted to it, over 100,000 pounds. Let's find out about the M3 Touring from racing driver Sam. Tell me about your car. I am in the beautiful M3 Touring the three litre straight six turbocharger that we've all come to know and love. 510 horsepower, 650 newton meters of torque, all wheel drive, eight speed auto gearbox, weighs 1,865 kilos, and it starts at 86,570 pounds. Young Nicholas in the 340i. Stats time. Stats time indeed. This is, yes, the M340i, so a three litre turbocharged straight six, same eight speed ZF gearbox as those cars, same four wheel drive system, basically. This has a lot less power, so 374 horsepower, and a lot less torque as well, 500 newton meters of torque, uh, but it also costs a lot less. Uh, this is a 61,580 pound wagon that weighs in at 1,795 kilos. How many turbos have you got, Nick? I was hoping you wouldn't ask. Uh, just one lonely turbo, I'm afraid. And what engine number do you have? Oh, we're getting really nerdy now, aren't we? Uh, I believe this is a B58. And what's the difference between a B58 and an S58? Uh, I think two points in Scrabble. In all honesty, I don't know. I know one is an M engine and one is a, a non-M engine. I believe the B58 is the non-M single turbo and the S is the special twin turbo M engine. Is that right? It is. Well done, Nick. Thanks for your insight. Finally then, let's talk to Rory, who's um, gone for economy over performance. You're in the diesel. I'm out, yeah, I'm in the diesel. Not sure if anyone remembers what a diesel is these days, but lovely things. Bit grumbly, but they go very far on a tank of fuel. I'm in the M340D, so I have 340 horsepower. I have 700 newton meters of torque, so more than Nick. Um, obviously it's a three litre straight six diesel engine with a single turbo, eight speed automatic gearbox and all wheel drive. I weigh 1,870 kilograms, and same as Nick, this costs about 61 grand to buy. Are you sure it's only got one turbo? Doesn't the 40 have two turbos? I've been reliably informed that this has one twin power turbo. Oh, twin scroll. Okay, right, my mistake. You've got to promise, Rory, that you're not allowed to really go on about economy or anything in this drag race. It's all about performance, not efficiency, okay? Do you promise? I'll try very hard not to, but you should see the figure. That I've got here on the shut screen. up. <laughs> Just shut up. Instead, Rory, I don't want to hear about economy. I want to hear about engine noise. So let's rev up your car. Go on, diesel us up. Have you revved it, Rory? Rev it. I am revving it. I can hear it coming through the radio on the inside because they're doing that thing where they're playing fake noise to the speakers. I couldn't hear anything on the outside. Nick, rev up your car. <laughs> Oh, no soft limiters here. You're losing already, Rory. Sam, rev up your M. That's better still. And now I'm going to do this. Oh, oh, you've got a pop. This wins. This wins. I won. No, I, I think your pop wins, but I actually think Nick, for actual purist sound wins. That's my opinion. I don't care about your opinion. I've got the pops and the bangs. That wins. It's exhaust noise. Why doesn't mine pop? It does a little bit. It's a bit, 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 bit. And I'm not like, but it does a bit. But you're in the comfy car that's supposed to be nice for cruising. Why does it pop? Anyway, 
If you like this kind of drag races, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Do it, subscribe now if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss a single upload. Good? Right, let's race. Three, two, one. Let's just, whoa, just wanted to go to the bushes. Come on, boy. Miles out of the diesel. That M3 just hooked up like nothing else. This struggled with traction off the line, almost sent me into the blooming bushes. But then I was just level with you. There's not much in it. I, I need another go. Uh, if you want, I'm definitely going to beat you. I think you'll beat me, but not by quite so much. Nick, how was the 340? 340 was very good. I felt like I was keeping up with the two of you. First to second gear change felt like it took a bit longer than I'd want. But I mean, still mega quick and smash the diesel. Rory, how are you feeling? This pushed through its brakes a bit, unfortunately, but I had no hope I was watching you have a race from quite far behind. Anyway, let's do it again. I'm gonna warm up my tires a bit first then. Three, two, one. A bit closer this time. <laughs> Go on, Diesel! Let's go, Diesel! Oh, much closer this time! <laughs> kind of died a little bit, pushed through its brakes. But it went quicker. Okay, I'm not going to lie, Sam, I went slightly quicker then, but I think you went even quicker than you did. <laughs> you did a little bit of tyre warming and I went, no, I'm not having that, so I did some as well. <laughs> All right, let's just have one more go. I know it's like best two out of three, you've already won, but let's cement your victory at best three out of five, okay? Okay, but I'm going to win all five. Okay, good. Let's just do it. Oh, we're on now, mate. <laughs> oh! <laughs> as soon as I shift into second, they've absolutely smashed me. I'm not going to do a better launch than that. No chance. And I still lost. Correct. <laughs> How was it for you, 340? That was the best launch I've had in this car all day as well. I felt like I had a chance there, but a little bit longer than last time, but still. Second gear, can't hold on with you guys. Rory in the diesel. Yeah, nailed the launch. Uh, was with Nick for about one second and then watched you all drive away. However, I am doing 42.5 MPG. What MPG are you guys doing? Mine looks the best. I've got cool, swanky, bespoke dials. That's, that's in my favour. I don't like the Alpina styling, I never did. By the way, thanks to the owner for lending us this car. Sam has just poo-pooed your motor. I rather like it though, so yeah. Anyway, thanks to the guys that have lent us these cars. Here's their cars and their Instagrams. Please go and follow them, okay? Go and follow them, links are in the description. So then what exactly happened? Well, the M3 won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.3 seconds. The Alpina took 11.7 seconds, the M340i 12.5 seconds, and the M340d came last. It crossed the line in 13.1 seconds. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, the car's in comfort setting for everything. Here we go then, three, two, one, go. Took ages to kick down. So much so I could scratch my nose while doing it. Yes. How's that diesel 
doing. Not so bad this time. Not a huge difference in it, but enough of a difference to matter. Well done, Sam. You're in the car with the most horsepower. Were you pulling me in there? I'm always pulling you in for a hug. It looked in my mirror that you started to close in on me on that run there, no? You weren't gapping me anymore. That initial pickup on the kick down, obviously the Alpine is more focused on comfort than the M car. And I think that's like mimicked in its gearbox response then where you got it in normal drive. This car does have more peak torque than yours. So that's helping it out, I think at higher speeds. Anyhow, what I'm more interested in is how close was the 40D to the 40i, Rory? Unfortunately for me, it was not close. I thought my 700 newton meters might have come in handy there, but um, the gearbox uh, was a bit dithery and I watched Nick sort of make his way up the runway in front of me, unfortunately. Yeah, because like, the initial response to that engine is pretty good, but I imagine it comes off that peak torque quite quickly, that diesel engine. Yeah, it does, but you know, once again, 42.5 mpg. That's the real winner here. That is a figure that the owners had, right? For like averaging. I don't, I don't know what this is doing. I can't find it on here. Can anyone tell me how to get the bloody MPG up? Do me a favor, Rory, rev your engine so we can all hear how amazingly efficient it is. I'm not sure if you've heard of the fuel. Um, it's called diesel um, and it's the future. Yeah, let's get those coal mines open again. <laughs> I literally cannot find my economy here on this car. Can you find it in yours, Sam? Oh, now you're asking. Um, hold on. Honestly, BMW have made their infotainment system harder to use. Always used to say it was the best in the business, but it's not anymore. Live vehicle? No. Driving setting? No. no. I think so. I'm looking. Content. What can we get on that content? Let's have a look. Content. No. Yeah, the, no. The, no. Mine's saying I've got 0 0.5 gallons per hour. I mean, what, what metric is that that anyone uses? I think that's what they use for tractors, isn't it? Gallons per hour? Something like that. Like, I've got a tractor and it, you don't have like mileage on it, you have hours used. Do you, uh, can you get your MPG up, Nick? No, I found valet mode. I found special sort of Hans Zimmer-esque sounds, but I've got nothing about economy. BMW knows that it's just not important. <laughs> so how come Rory can see here? How, Rory, how come you can see yours? Are you in the old infotainment system or something? So yeah, I think this car uh, has the later MHT engine, but it was just pre-facelift of the interior. So on the left, I just press car, driving information, journey data, and then it just says 42.5 MPG over 700 miles. I've got all sorts of things like live vehicle, driving settings, vehicle status, like nothing that, so check, so, no, this is just, Bollocks. No. No. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? Driving set? No. I can only get gallon hour thing. It's 0 0.2. A few moments later. Oh, there we go. I'm dead. If you start, put that screen up, Matt, and start going, and then it says it gives you your miles per gallon. So I'm doing 16.8 MPG. I'm doing 17.8 miles per gallon. What you got, Nick? <laughs> 13.1. Rory, you're the best, but I'm winning out the petrol cars, right? Yeah, you're just ahead of me. Of course, because when you're stationary, you're not doing any miles, so it just shows what it's doing at tick over. So that almost seems like a good idea. Nah, this is still daft. No one in the world has ever gone, I wonder how many gallons I'll use if I just park outside with my car running all day long. <laughs> no, you do have a point there. But why can't you find like it in the main display and like choose different parameters as well since like, oh, Oh, you can actually, wait. Get your number since factory. I've got 18.8. .8. What have you got, Nick? I've got 22.3 since factory. Was that Nick or was it Sam? That was Sam, 22.3 since factory. And Nick? 32.4. And you, Rory? I suppose we'll just take your 43. New game, try and get it off your dash. Try and get it off my dash? Have you got it off your dash? I can't get out of this screen now. <laughs> It's with you forever. Okay, anyway, I lost. I'm glad we went through all that pain and spent half an hour trying to figure this out. Oh, and Jack, you're not driving that car hard enough, by the way, if you're only, if you're averaging 22 miles per gallon, you're not trying. Jack's running that M3. Can I drive it like an old lady? Yeah, you are. I mean, you're getting like 22 miles per gallon. The guy who owns this Alpina is driving it correctly with his 18.8, .8, legend. 
<laughs> right, let's do this. Third gear roll, half mile. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I'm through body eye. Come on. Come on, I'm, I am pulling back a bit. Do you know what, Sam? I was starting to pull you back in there. I knew it, you see, I could see it. Nick, how was it for you? There was definitely no pulling back in going uh, going on in my car over here, but uh, it felt like a carbon copy of the drag races, to be honest. I felt like I kept up with you guys for a split second and then you just disappeared. Swap with me, Sam, just for the drive back down. I want you to feel how much more comfortable this Alpina is than that M3, okay. really fast. Rory, do you want to talk about miles per gallon again? I reckon I've got the kind of the least CO2 emissions as well of all four, which counts for a lot. What about your particulates though? We all know that they're made up. It's absolutely fine. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> now this is quick. Blow next time, your driving position is kind of like almost lying down. It's a proper racing driver spec. I haven't moved your seat out of courtesy, but I'm struggling to sit in this position. Do I sit too upright, do you think? Upright? You're like a vampire sleeping. What is going on? I just want to try someone else's seat. I'm going to try... Nick, jump out. I want to try your seat. I'm going to put it all the way back now. The last time I was this upright, I was on a spinal board in an ambulance. Have a go in this seat, Nick. <laughs> and just see who has the weirdest seat in position, bearing in mind that I've got short legs. Now Nick's like me, just with longer legs. What is this? I've got to do Rory's. Let's try your seat in position. Rory, try these. Mine is very normal. Oh. So Rory, you're a bit more reclined than me and Nick. Me and Nick are a bit more upright. But you've got surprisingly short legs, Rory, for a tall guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nick, you're like a capital L. Who the hell is this? <laughs> oh, 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 you are quite erect in here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the legs are fine, the back is not. Let's have a little go. Let's, <laughs> let's just make sure that this is actually how I, I like it. Did I really have it in this position? Maybe that's why I didn't win the drag race. This is, this is my normal position. Actually, it's still not great, but have a go in that. <laughs> no, that's horrible. But it's not as bad as it was. <laughs> this seat hurts my bollocks, though. It's the testicle shelf. It's a very expensive carbon testy shelf. <laughs> we did a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Now, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can do it through Car Wow. What you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. If you want to do that now, click on the pop out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, just Google, help me car wow, and we will help you sell your car. Now for the brake test. Flipping heck. <laughs> ah! No way. Oof. I'm gonna have to get out to measure this one. I'm quite excited actually, because I normally do rubbish in the brake test. It's my it's my seating position, you see. Dead close to the wheel and upright. I win. I do. Just. In that defence, it went over a bump in the very last bit. Of course it bit. did. <laughs> You're on, have you got carbons? No. <laughs> yes, you have. That doesn't help you braking. Carbons don't mean better braking. You've got you've got Michelins. So I've got you. Pirellis. Oh, have you? So I did well. You did very well. <laughs> Sorry, Pirelli. Yeah, you won. In my defense, I'm on cold carbons and I was beating you by a long way and then this went over a bump at the end and you just caught me back. Your carbons aren't that cold, mate. We've done quite a lot of braking. Don't give me that excuse. And we've all got bumps to deal with. I'm on Pirelli's and I've got steel brakes and we've done quite a lot of braking. 
And did you find it more comfortable apart from my seat? Yeah, it's it's more comfortable in every aspect other than this seat, which is really good, but not positioned correctly. And it's a testicle shelf, as Nick calls it, which is really quite silly. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some more videos, click on the video windows. And if you want to see these cars quarter mile times compared to everything else we've ever drag raced, click on the CarWow logo to go to the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.